back with uh, round 11. Round 11. Uh, 17th of April. 10 to 8. Give it uh, 60 minutes, maybe more or less. It depends on your presence. <clears throat> And I think we are streaming and recording, right? Okay, cool. Things seems to be in order. And you know what's interesting here? Rag Hikaru, let's just toggle off all the buttons here so we're not seeing any lines, anything. Um, look at this. Queen's Pawn opening and the symmetrical variation. And you can take in uh, so many ways. Now, <clears throat> more options, I think, would be for white to be pushing the e2 to e3. I think that's a possibility. And uh, I guess knight c3 could be also playable here. Thank you very much, uh, Simpson. Thank you for confirming you can hear it loud and clear. Appreciate, appreciate the feedback, my friend. Thanks for being so prompt in confirming. How's it going? They've just started now. They have just started. And uh, that looks very interesting here. With both pawn. I mean, Nakamura goes for, goes for the win. I mean, that's getting sharp, right? It's getting really sharp. What else can you play here, Simpson? Apart from E3, which I don't think is bad at all. Can you do B3? Knight c3. What else can you play here theoretically? Ah, okay. You played rapids or you play blitzes? What did you play? Ah, 10 minutes. Okay. That is good. 10 minutes. Uh, you can maybe bookmark some of the games you played, and I don't know when. Maybe, maybe after this guy's finished, the um, either candidates will uh, will look at some. At some of the stuff you played, Simpson. <coughs> uh, I'd, be, I'd be cool to do that. I'd be... Happy to look together. That's all right. No worries, my friend. So, Prague, um, probably he's not that very much... Um, he, hadn't, he hadn't prepared this one in detail or something because he does take his time. I'm watching the time for Hikaru, and I can see Hikaru actually spent a minute. Hikaru spent a minute. He's like in a bullet mode, guys. He's in a blitz bullet mode or something. 1.59 for Hikaru, and in one minute he decided he wants to go with this C5 variation. And uh, because Prague didn't react, he's actually looking for a response. He doesn't want to react. Um... Probably he's, uh, he hasn't prepared this one in particular. Or, I don't know, could be anything. Um, so yeah, just tell me what is your favorite way to be dealing with this. If you guys playing the d4. You know, if you go e3, knight c3, b3, queen c2, I don't know, bishop uh, what? Can you play bishop f4 here? Can you play bishop f4? Oops, can you play bishop f4? Uh, I would go e3, I guess. It just looks very wild now. Yeah. So, Prague is definitely taking his time. So, let's go now and see what the other guys are doing. We'll be returning to this one. Vedetanian. Petrov's defense. Right. Takes queen. Pinning. Queen. Knight c3. So, if knight captures, we could just very well capture this guy. 
and if they take you here you take this guy here and you raid the castle in principle i wonder if there's any other options here so let's see what uh, ian wants to go with anyway this guy's being attacked twice so knight on e4 being twice attacked here so you gotta do something about you either defend it or you start the trade you take on c3 or you uh do something to protecting the knight but uh, you gotta be very careful because uh if you try something like this, it feels incredibly fishy. Very, very, very fishy. I'm, uh, I'm concerned about knight to d5. So I guess you sort of have to take on c3 if I'm correct. Yeah. You probably wanted to say vid it. Yes, yes. That's a bit uh, like... Uh, surprising element here isn't it simpson you uh, normally see vidit going low on time but now surprisingly for everybody something happened something happened and uh, vidit i don't know or some some somewhat exactly surprising stuff but he's actually one minute 57 and ian is actually one minute 50 and he still gives some thought to this position here um so I guess Black has to take on C3. What is he what is he thinking? Is he is he worried about the fact that Vidit might have prepared something unexpected? Anything's possible. Anything's possible. I think he he's uh, he's maybe worried or something. Hmm. Okay. So I guess you could just take on C3, right? You need to eliminate this guy. Take on c3. Again, why doesn't it take the queen? You don't need to take the queen. After knight takes c3, you just very well d c d capture c3. And you're ready to get a bishop out. If black takes your queen, then you can take with the bishop. And you're just very close to just uh, castle. And heck, you can go either way. You could go castle short or you could go castle long. And the game is far from over. Um, but you know, there is something... If queens come off the board... I guess, uh, Simpson, I guess you you are supposed to take on c3. Yes, 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 yeah. Look, uh, if you don't want to, I mean... You want to do something just to surprise the other guy with knight f6? Uh, uh, inviting white to take so you can take with a bishop. But it just, just feels weird. Why do you have to subject yourself to all to all sorts of threats and forks and things? So, yeah, I guess black should be taken on c3 here. You just play like this. I guess. Surprisingly, Yan is uh, thinking now. Very, I think it's the first time. Is it like a premiere? That you can see Vidit actually going with more time than the other guy. Interesting. Uh... Believe it or not, believe it or not, Prague didn't move nothing. I'm just, uh, you know, I just picked. And I'm noticing that Prague didn't move nothing here, move number four. Uh, that's something. So these were my candidate moves anyway. So let's go for the other one. And this guy's now thinking. Lukash is white here well that looks uh whose turn is it oh white's turn white's turn okay well i guess you could just play this bishop somewhere out right before you playing e3 which i don't think it's it's bad it's a theoretical move but you block the bishop in so you may you may just very well want to uh, get a bishop out bishop g5 bishop g5 bishop f4 and then you may just play e3 afterwards afterwards well after bishop g5 for bishop f4 we might be very well seeing c5 that might be. but there might be another thing is it me or also you could apply the g3 here you could apply the g3 perhaps as well so actually he probably he decided already he's just looking through his memory to go with something more beneficial or something but definitely bishop g5, bishop f4. These are, I think, my first two choices. 
B3. B3. G3. E3. So many. Queen B3. So I think I've already gotten like uh, five, six, five, six theoretical moves, right? These are all theoretical, uh, theoretical stuff. So we've highlighted here. Let's go for the fourth game, my friends. And I will take them one by one. Ali Reza playing. Now that's cool. Uh, These guys now are really giving time here. Ali Reza with white. They all want to win, right? So you could do many things here. You could do many things. Nice c3. You name it. Bishop c4. Nah, not really bishop c4 because of this and you're just suddenly losing a lot of space. So it's not working. Bishop c3, I don't know. d4, maybe d4. Maybe d4, of course. d4. d4, bishop e2. What else is here? Knight c3. Yeah, d4, bishop e2, knight c3. So that's what I think white should be investigating, and I'm sure he already does that, or and he already took a decision. He just wants to verify subtleties and things. Black would black goes just two steps with d7, d5. They'd be moving that pawn two steps, taking the center, freeing up the bishop to potentially make an pin. So that black pawn. So you just have to ask yourself, what would my opponent do? And that guy would like to take a lot of space. So looks to me like d7, d5 is a normal thing to do. Take a lot of space, then pin the knight. So that's what it is. But surprisingly, surprisingly, looks like the youngsters now behave like a senior. Uh, I've seen Prague thinking more than uh, Nakamura. I've seen Gukesh uh, not reacting to Nepomniche. So I'm very surprised now. It's like the youngsters all of a sudden, uh, they don't want to They don't wanna mess up. They take the time. Well, they got plenty of. Let's put it this way. Got plenty of. Okay. So, guys, it's unbelievable. So we've been here like, what, five, ten minutes ago? And Prague didn't move a single thing. He didn't move nothing. He didn't move absolutely nothing. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? What is he doing? Did he... Uh, got asleep or something? What's going on here? No move, no nothing? C4, C5? Boy, oh boy. Surprising. It is surprising, but... Um, sorry, uh, Ian plays uh, Vidit. Sorry, I thought he's playing Gukesh. Apologies. Um, what's uh, Ian doing? What are these guys doing, really? Is there anything else than knight takes c3? Well, it could be, of course. Like knight f6, right? Or bishop f5? Can't do bishop f5. It's knight d5 coming. And then just, you didn't, no, 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 no. You have to take on c3. Uh, looks kind of like obvious to me, but... Again, there might be some sideline or something. He tries to remember something weird. Uh, yeah, it's surprising to be spending like uh, more than 15 minutes here. Okay, well, uh, we'll find out. We'll find out, my friends, very soon. They didn't move nothing. I've highlighted my candidate moves. And let's see what they do. Now, there you go. I mean, look at Gukesh. Fabi had spent, lie me, hold on a second, just four moves. Uh, Fabi spent like what, 20 seconds, 21 seconds? And Gukesh is going uh, almost 20 minutes, yeah? And he didn't move nothing. So he stays almost 20 minutes, he didn't play nothing. I've already highlighted with yellow what I think White should be doing. 
and I'm curious to see which way he wants to go. And he didn't he didn't commit to do nothing. What are these guys doing? What's going on? Really? What is going on here? Well, well, well. And of course, Ali Reza, Ali Reza. These guys didn't move a single thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. So let me know, guys, if you. Uh... Yeah, I think it was uh, forty minutes for one or forty-five. Forty moves. Apologies, forty moves for one hour forty-five. With a half an hour increment after. So what is uh, what is Prague actually doing here? If he if he had a preparation or something, he should have moved something, right? If he had if he had something prepared, he probably should have played at this stage. It's just move number four, right? It's move number four. Hikaru, just one minute. And Prague, 21 minutes. Okay. What can we do? And surprisingly, Ian didn't decide to do anything just yet. And probably the first time in the history of the FIDE candidates, 2024, Vidit, I think for the first time, Vidit is massively, uh, well, not massively, but he definitely got more time than uh, Ian. It looks to me like better than IC3. Can't be nothing here. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what Ian is uh, thinking. Is there something we don't see apart from IC3? Can you do anything else apart from IC3, guys? I think that's the only way to take, right? Do stuff here for black. What can I do? They're mulling over the next move. God knows what they're planning. Next. I don't know. Strange. I hope the moves are updated in real time. I mean, uh, I'm now starting to think maybe there is a glitch or something. Guys, that might be a glitch or something. These guys are not moving. Maybe I don't see the moves on my screen. It looks like the clock is going, but I don't see them moving nothing. Okay, I'm really... I'm really wondering if there is a thing with my... Uh, with my uh, browser or something i'm gonna do a refresh of my browser because we might be in uh it just simply it, it's just i don't understand i'm gonna refresh the thing no they haven't moved they haven't moved no they didn't move nothing 
Okay, so let me just do the stuff again. It's very surprising. I'm very surprised by this. I have to say, Simpson. Normally it goes a bit faster. I mean, it's okay to just sit down and think for 15, 20 minutes, but not move number four or six, right? Not move number four or six. Surprising. Yeah. One, this, 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 this. This, this, C2 can be three. So many options here for white to play. Yeah, I don't know what's going on on that, guys. G6, last one played by Basov. Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. This, 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 this. Okay. You really take the time. Anyone? Oh, they have it. I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised. Do they normally take that much time in the opening? So I hope it's not a glitch with the with the computers or something. I hope it's not a glitch. I've refreshed the page. I've uh So, I guess it's just them thinking. Right. Okay. No, not. Yeah, it, it doesn't show anything. Samsung, can you can you check on your computer or tablet if there is any other move? If, for instance, Prague moved anything, because this is move number four. Can can you can you check on your PC or something if you if you got a move for Prague? You can't you can't stay you can't stay half an hour move number four, right? I mean you can, but it doesn't make any sense, right? What's going on? Is there a glitch? Okay. It's, just, it's very 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 weird. It's just uh it's a bit too much, right? Half an hour for move number four. I mean, I understand the guys are considering very many options, but what the heck? I mean, maybe it's my computer, maybe it's chess.com, maybe, I don't know. So you stay half an hour, move number four here? I mean, you didn't even start to play. I mean, you started to play. <laughs> um, well, the... Right. Right, so Prague is thinking, according to the uh, engine here. But surprisingly, Nepo is thinking. Also, a lot. No, I think it's it's a glitch somewhere. All right, so you can't you can't stay here. 
So Nepo didn't move nothing. So is it my computer? Is it the browser? Is it chess.com? Is it... Uh... Yeah, I mean, you can't stay half an hour with the move number four. Thank you very much for confirming. This is just sick because... Okay, so I was right. It's just it's just uh, transmission things. Exactly. No, 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 no. You can't, you can't have that. I mean, I understood. Uh, I mean, yeah, it just uh, felt incredibly weird. Felt uh, you can't you can't stay half an hour for move number four. I'm pretty sure that's just uh, not gonna happen. You, ca yeah. Thank you very much for confirming because just incredibly weird. You can't have that. So look, uh, waiting for these guys for half an hour to move is just not possible. I don't see any moves. I don't see anything happening here. I mean, just I, I can see the clock running, but Prague is not moving for half an hour, which is not possible. It's not even practical to uh, delay for so long with an option. You, you, you have to go with something. I'm sure it's the. I'm sure it's the transmission. Is something with the uh, servers with the. Hi there, guys. Thanks very much, uh, Ash. Thank you, Marty. Message. Uh, thank you guys for confirming. Yeah. So, <laughs> did it? I don't know. I really. I mean, all the four games. It's like they are stuck. All the four games, and no one is moving. Nothing. So that can't be true. That can't happen. That's not it. No. So I guess my my guess is that they already played seven, eight more moves, guys. They already played seven, eight more moves. Uh, they are not updated. At least on chess.com. I don't know about Lee Chess. But I guess on chess.com the moves haven't been updated. Or maybe it's FIDE servers. Or maybe the boards that the guys are using do not relay the moves that they did it's impossible to stay that much and not uh, having a move so it's something with the boards <sighs> i guess uh Ashu, i guess they're simply playing we just do not know why they moved unless you you know you have a look at the camera at the video camera because the games are also recorded over there so they may not relay the moves. Thank you, Simpson, for uh, the update you, uh, you're you doing. No, no, no. It's something like this, guys. The boards they are using probably do not uh, work. Or FIDE has some glitches somewhere. The servers do not work. Or it's software, something. Because I'm pretty sure the guys are playing. I'm pretty sure now Prague had moved ages ago. Yeah, Prague moved ages ago. And um, they're being recorded anyway. So they did the moves, I'm sure. But nothing shows at my end here, so I can't. There you go, yeah. Yeah, I would have I would have imagined that the game had evolved. It's a shame I can't see it, though. It's a shame for everybody that we can't see it. So, actually, you're actually watching a, a live, I suppose, somewhere. Um, that's a shame I don't see it on the screen here. That's really a shame. Nothing, nothing shows on my screen. Absolutely nothing. Everything's stuck here. I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Is it better on Lee Chess or something? I mean, this is just, uh, that's, it shouldn't be this way. I can't, I can't do the things. I can't round 11, but we don't know what's happening. It's the first time they're having this. I don't know. Is chess.com? It's FIDE computers. What is it? 
Ah, official channel of FIDE. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I probably need to close this browser, open up a new window, try to find some FIDEs and uh, see if I can just go on the FIDE channel or something because I can't have access to anything. I don't see what the moves, what are the moves and things. So I would just need to open up new browsers and stuff. I can't see nothing on chess.com. I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> Is there anything better on Lee Chess guys or something? All right, I think I'm going to close this browser. And Okay, I'm going to have to open up a new stuff here. Right, let's see if it's different on another platform and I'll let you know, fellas. Uh, I'm going to have to probably restart the whole damn thing. I mean, yeah, I need to change the title and all. Um, no, 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 not this one. What's going on? Okay. What's going on? I'm trying to open up Lee Chess on the FIDE candidates and it doesn't work. I don't know if it's my system or... Really, I mean, what is going on with these platforms? I can't open up bleachers. I don't know what's going on. So again, no moves on chess.com. I can't see a single move that happened. Oh boy. Um, round 11. Let me check if there's anything better on another platform and I'll just change the whole thing. Oh, that's a shame. It's not my fault, I'm sorry, it's just those guys are not updating the moves. Hey, fellas, on Lee Chess, it's exactly the same thing. So just saving your time. Just saving your time, guys. On, on Lee Chess, on Lee Chess is exactly everything is stuck in the same is the same so i'm watching now lee chess screen and it's the same glitch as chess.com there is no difference in between the two uh nothing had moved i'm watching now both platforms lee chess and chess.com it's the same thing nothing nothing being updated let me try open up some let me try open up some fide uh something fide candidates something from the fide servers or something that's just weird stuff it's it, it could be it could be fide computers guys so both chess.com and leeches they do not update the moves that the players did there's nothing Uh, broadcast. Da, 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 what's this? So I'm trying to see if some if there's something on Fide. Mm. No moves anywhere. Neither Chesscom or Leeches. There's nothing. So my, yeah, I suspect it's just simply, it's the computers of the organizers. They got a problem with that. They got a massive glitch at some point and nothing's being 
uh, transmitted now. The players are playing normally. They are being recorded, filmed. So the players are playing. It's just that we don't see on the screen the live moves they do. And I cannot find FIDE games uh, right now. I can't find... I mean, I gotta probably look differently. Nothing on Lee Chess. Yeah, it's unpleasant. It is unpleasant. Yeah, there's nothing on Lee Chess or Chess.com, guys. So if you go on any of the two platforms, you're not going to be seeing anything. So now I'm going to put this thing back on here. So you're not going to see nothing. It's the same. It's the same on Leeches. So that's just move number three, right? Move number four. So there's nothing for us to talk about. There's no, I mean, no one moved nothing on. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a glitch somewhere. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. I'm sorry, I'm really am. I really am sorry. I apologize. I really am sorry. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry for your time, for my time, for everybody's time. That's um, that's a wasting. Oh heck, let me just hit the puzzle. Okay, okay, let me go with a quick puzzle now. Hopefully, hopefully they're gonna fix it or something. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we do here? This guy is hanging. This guy is hanging. We could also try this. We could try this, but then we're going to get checked. I'm going to move here. Mm, that doesn't make any sense. This one. Check. If they take, we got this. Is there any better? Or oh, just take here. No, we can't because it's this. We can't because it's this. And you're not gonna like it. It could be, could be maybe this. But then they're gonna be escaping with this guy, so it's not working. This, 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 this. Queen takes check. They move whatever they move, and that's how you probably are supposed to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna try something. So is it G3 here? What do you think, guys? Is it G3? G3. G3, FG, FG, King G, Queen G5. I mean, what else can you possibly play? And also, you need to ensure the knight disappears. So, you probably have to do this. I can't see anything else. It's just getting into too many complications. If you play f4 to f3, they might just play knight h7 and... Yeah, we don't want what are you actually doing? I'm gonna go with G3. If you guys think differently, let me know. But I think I'm gonna just try G3. I hope that's correct, yeah. That was the only way to keep playing with the tempo, pressurizing the knight whilst you're checking the king. Okay. So now you're actually removing the knight with tempo check. So that's good. And you're having four, five, two, three, five. So you have to, wait a minute. Is there no you have to take with a queen, you can't take with a king because you expose yourself to more checks, so you have to play queen. But you know, no, <laughs> you don't take the knight, <laughs> you don't take the knight, man. You just do the checkmate with queen f4. <laughs> it's one of those things in which you probably, you probably, 
thinking that you got to take your stuff back as a human, you know. But if you stop being a human for a second, you actually realize it's Queen F4. <laughs> you don't even have to bother taking the knight. Crazy. You, you, you mustn't take the knight. <laughs> oh boy, that's a checkmate. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And I was just so close to taking the knight out of panic. Out of complete panic, I was about to take the knight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, just before capturing the knight in my initial intention, I said, wait a second, what's the deal? Because I got like four black pawns and white is five white pawns. What exactly am I supposed to do to win? And then it dawned upon me that it could be just simply checkmate, right? Sorry, crazy. Hey, our our favorite type of endings now, king and, uh, king and pawn. King and a bunch of pawns. Five black pawns, five white pawns, but these guys are double. Hey, uh, could it be the good old uh, creating an outside pass pawn, Simpson? I think that was uh, not the last video. Uh, yeah, one, uh, one of the most recent videos. I think it's creating an outside pass pawn, right? If there is something, you reckon h5 is the winning stuff, so to speak? Creating an outside pass pawn, and I don't know what they do, because if they do nothing, I'm going to keep pushing. If they do something, I'm going to take anyway. And whilst they might be tempted to, I don't know, if they touch this guy, I'm going to promote. Yeah, h5 is creating an outside pass pawn. That's exactly right. Now, let me think if I have to panic. Um, can I just keep going with this guy? I think I probably should, because if they capture here, I can still catch up with that guy. Until they reach this square, I don't need to bother. So probably I should be keep moving, uh, uh, moving h5 to h4. And it doesn't really matter what they choose to do because you're going to win. Either this guy becomes a queen or this guy becomes a queen. And this white pawn... Oh, hold on a second. There is some subtlety here. Though, there is a bit, a little subtlety. If I move on H, can they play this? Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. So you got to play this one carefully. Perhaps you have to take on f4, actually. Hmm. Hey, we're going to go up. Thank you, Ashu. Thank you very much. But let's finish this one. Now, Pra can wait and Hikaru, because they, they, they kept us waiting. Now they can wait. So what am I supposed to do now? Uh, I got a thing. If I move h4, they're going to be coming with this guy. So I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. If I like capture here. Now nah, I'm 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 taking this guy first. Yes, 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 yeah. You gotta be very careful with this kind of stuff. Uh you have to be very careful. Yeah, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go back to the naughty boys over there. The heck did they do? It's Fide, guys, it's Fide. It's Fide stuff. <laughs> Their computers, they have to uh, buy new computers or something. Or the softwares. Oh, bloody hell, they moved ages ago, man. <laughs> Hi, they peace. Good to see you, man. All right, fellas. So back in business now, right? We was, we was talking to the walls. So A5. Uh, okay, let's go back to business now. All right. Let's try to reconstruct the Super GM's thinking. So what is White supposed to be doing? How on earth he didn't castle? Maybe it's time for a quick castle. Queens have disappeared off the board. Thank you, Simpson. That's uh, so encouraging, my friend, to hearing that. If you've learned from the YouTube things, that is so, so, so encouraging. That means I'm not talking to the walls, and which is, which is great for me to know. Thank you very much. So... Uh, even now he goes for the, he goes for C7. Even now. He didn't even castle. Queen's been traded. And he goes simply for the forks and things. So I think it's obvious, guys, that actually Prague wants to go knight C7. And Hikaru, 
he got a lot of time. Like a ton of time. He got to stop this. How do you stop it? You have to move the king. You have to move the king. Or you move the rook. But it's too painful to move the rook, right? So you have to move the king. Or you have to play... No, you can't. No, you have to move the king. And guess what? You have to play something very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. This is unpleasant. Very unpleasant. Is really Prague on 1 hour 15 minutes? Oh boy. Okay. So what did the guys do here since, la since last time we... Yeah, so... Uh, Simpson, do you remember we we spoke like uh, like twenty minutes about knight take c three, right? But just that he took with the b, he didn't take with a d pawn. He took with b. Okay, queen being hit, queen takes, bishop takes, and rook b going for the b seven weakness. Though that's a weakness here. And b six. Um, if the knight wasn't here. If the knight wasn't here, you probably may want to do some checks. So maybe you want to move this guy. Did he move? No. He went d4 instead. Bishop e6. But this guy is currently protected. What do you play? Ah, well, we can now uh, we can now anticipate and predict things. Do you play bishop d3 in order to castle? Do you just ignore this and use the uh, opportunity to get the bishop on c1 somewhere? And if you do, like, where exactly are you going to move it? Where exactly you're gonna move it? F4, looking for active stuff. Um, well, Bishop D3, Bishop F4. Which one is it? Um, what do you move the? Nah, if you move the knight, you're gonna drop A2 because of this, guys. So it can't be. It can't be. It can't be moving the knight. It's got to be. This guy, dark square or light square bishop, which one's going to be? Maybe this, after all. Maybe this. Do you know something? If you play bishop f4, you could just play king d2 because the queens have disappeared and you don't need to bother about castling very much. Yeah, maybe. Maybe bishop f4, maybe king d2, maybe bishop d3, maybe castle short. One of these. One of these. We'll see what Vida does. We'll see. So thank you for the update, guys. It's good Asher told me that actually they have uh, updated the moves. Gukesh to move here. Uh, knight d7 by Fabi. Uh, what is white doing here? Mm, I would love to have this column being opened. So I can take on b7. How do you open it? The question is. Can you play b5? Asking for a friend. Can you do this? They mustn't take though. If you play b5, hoping, hoping, you see, hoping that they're going to be taking, they may not take actually. They may just play uh, this. Well, that's an option. They may want to undermine your on here specifically because they got the bishop too so that might be another thing as well so if you push b5 hoping they might not take they might push this guy maybe to do this maybe to take here there's so many things so i don't know what about this e4 is e4 okay no it's not because if this, and you move this guy, you're going to lose this. So that we can discard e4. So do we go back to b5? We may need to go back on b5 after all, but I still don't like it. And I guess, you know something, I guess Gukesh doesn't like it either. He doesn't like it. B5. He doesn't like it. That's why he didn't play it. He doesn't. I don't know. Maybe you have to move a rook. Maybe you have to play in this fashion. You gotta have, you gotta have to move a rook or something.
Do you push a5 for knight a4? But where do you go with the knight? You don't go anywhere. Ah, uh, okay. Rook fe1. I don't know what else to play. Rook fe, what else do you play? There's no point to doing queen e2 on something. You're going to get in a pin. This one is a nice battery. You could, do, you could even do a check if you want. But what exactly to what end? I don't know. Rook fe? They're going to be coming like this. I'm pretty sure. Pretty, pretty, pretty sure. <sighs> maybe this. This and this. Huh. You reckon maybe knight d2, knight b3, knight c5? I mean, it takes very, very much. It takes a few tempi, but... Knight d2, knight b3, knight c5. And after you play knight b3, black's gonna push b6 and that's it. They stopped you forever. We'll see. And Abasov, black, and Ali Reza, white here. What happened? Rook d8? Hmm. I think you want to move the queen away, right? Well, not necessarily, but you could. But if you move the queen, where do you go? Because if you go queen c2, there is this. There is this. You have to be very careful. Well, that's a truism, but it is applicable. Okay, so what do you play? I wouldn't necessarily take, although it could be. If you take, they're going to take with the knight, where you're going to be removing the king's defender. So I think that's not a very incredibly bad idea. If you take and queen takes, though, can you play bishop f3? I don't think it's that bad. Cd, if queen takes bishop f3. And then you could do knight c4 at some point. Cd, if knight takes, bishop takes. I would always take the king's defender, that is the g7 bishop. That guy has to be removed. So maybe cd after all. Maybe cd the best move. And also, you're kind of stopping this because you take Ampassant. Mm. So CD, and if there's this guy, you're going to take Ampassant. That looks good. And after you take, you know, C4 is vacated for knight C4. So in all these ideas, I think they are very, very, very beneficial for Ali Reza here. CD, I think CD works. Itachi, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for visiting the stream. I would say go for puzzles. Do 50 puzzles a day, my friend. If time permitting, if you don't have exams, if you don't have other commitments, etc., etc., just do, do, do as many puzzles as possible. Well, of course, don't need to hit the pathological threshold, but go for 50 puzzles a day. Just, just, just do the puzzle. Take it very seriously. Sit down, do 20 puzzles in the morning. Do whatever you go about your day. And then hit another 20 puzzle. And then maybe the evening before bedtime. Which means you're not going to sleep all night long. <laughs> do 20 more. <laughs> do, do puzzles every day. Uh, that's the best calculation stuff. And... Look at Ali Reza and tell me what do you play if you were Ali Reza here. That is very much calculation exercise for you. Yeah, we all having that kind of feeling. Uh, first, you need to be enjoy being being stuck at this level. That's it. So that's I got some good or bad news. You have to enjoy being stuck at this level, and then you're gonna go beyond it. Oh, what? What are you talking about, black screen? Black screen. Ooh, that could be Twitch thing. Uh, move over to YouTube, uh, David. David, uh, what the heck is going on with the Twitch? Let me let me try and see if I can notice something. No, it's fine, dude. It's fine. No, the uh, Twitch stream is absolutely fine to my end. 
Yeah, but anyway, move over to YouTube, maybe better. So then again, Itachi, um, try and play, uh, try and uh, calculate now. What do you think Ali Reza going to play? Now that's a very powerful exercise. And do the 50 puzzles a day. And uh, I think you're going to, and enjoy the fact you're being stuck. That's very important. Then you're going to be rewarded by the goddess of chess. <clears throat> Whoever that is. Uh, so C5. Do you know what I don't like particularly about... I don't think it's the end of the world if you do C5. It's like you're blocking your bishop, so to speak. And where exactly you're going to go, your knight? I'd rather be inclined to say CD. I'd rather say C captures D5. More than anything. Again, if queen takes, you might have some beautiful bishop c4 hitting very powerfully here. And you have more than enough time then to get a queen out of the so-called battery here. Uh, knight f3, yeah, but I want to take a little bit of initiative. Itachi, knight f3. Knight f3, I think it's quite nice and sweet and beautiful. I like it. I like that one too. I like it. So actually, let me draw this knight f3 and cd. Probably one of these two. I think these are the candidate moves. C, D, Knight, F3. And now let's go see what Prague and Hikaru did. Let's see what this guy's doing here. Um, well, queens are gone, right? Sorry, what? Oh, right, right, right. Guys, what do you think Hikaru did last time we spoke? He didn't play the king. He played first check. with So that's a tempo in itself. Bishop, D2. And now uh, you could either move the black king out of the fork. You have to move the black king out of the fork. Or you're going to take this guy. You don't have too many options here. With black, that is. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You could castle. You could castle. Yes, you could castle. Or take on d2 or you castle, yeah. Or moving king, castling, yes. Castle short. If this guy takes, you take with the knight. Yeah, and you threaten actually then fork. That makes a lot of sense. Excellent. Totally. I'm sure he's going to find out something. He's got 1 hour 40 minutes. And 1 extra minute. So definitely that works. Yeah, that's probably a very human approach here. And quite efficient. Very efficient. As well. This, this has to happen. And uh, yeah, we're going to come back because that's definitely, probably you don't have, I mean, you got to do one of these two. But I would say maybe you don't have to take the bishop now. Maybe, maybe just castle. Maybe just castle. Yeah, maybe castle. Okay, that's Hikaru's turn to play. Hello, uh, Brahmin. Let's find out right now, as we speak, David. Right now, let's find out uh, Ian's turn to play. What did he do last time? Oh, he played a4. He moved the pawn out of the threat. So he may want to move the knight. So when I said bishop d3 and or playing the, the dark square white bishop, I just wanted to develop things. I don't think it's fundamentally wrong to develop here. But with it... Move the pawn away. So he may want to just play the knight. He wants to just... Or maybe he wants to do this. I'm not sure. Yeah, a little bit... A little bit black, perhaps. Perhaps perhaps black a bit more. Uh, also, what is this? Bishop d5, David and Itachi. What is this? You can't move the bishop, right? If bishop d5, I'm not sure. Mm, although bishop d5, this one goes here and you're going to go here. You're going to stay there. Oh, knight c6, Itach says, and I think makes sense. That's not a bad idea. Knight c6, that's not bad. Can I do g3 then? No, you cannot because it's this. Uh, weird, very weird. Then you're going to play this. I'm not sure anymore. I'm not sure anymore. 
Mm. Ian's turn, by the way. So let's just highlight knight c6. Could bishop d5 be played here, though? Bishop d5, f3. True. True. You just keep the status quo and keep developing the knight c6 or castle short. The good stuff is that there's no more queen here, so... And also probably white is going to play a5. At some point. I don't know when, how exactly going to happen, but it is a possibility as well. So these are the candidate moves. Bishop d5. Keeping the white bishop a little bit stuck here so you can't move it. Bishop d5. But f3 probably would be... David, if bishop d5, I think f3 is necessary. No, it's not necessary because white can play knight e3, David. Apart from f3. I mean, you could, I guess. I guess you could. But there is also this. But that doesn't solve it. I mean, bishop b7 then. You still have a problem. You still have a problem with that bishop, you see. So f3, I think, would be... f3, I think, would be necessary. Bishop d5, knight e3, bishop d... Bishop b7, bishop d7. D5, you close the diagonal. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, sounds like a plan. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Perhaps. Knight e3, bishop b7, bishop c6. That could be as well. And bishop c6, then a5, David. It could be. Exactly as we, exactly as we discussing now, I'm pretty sure this kind of internal dialogue is happening with uh, is happening with uh, uh, Nepomnish and the other guys. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Just that when you talk to yourself, you may not using concepts and words like this. You're just uh, moving pieces in your mind, and you you apply a spontaneous assessment as you're moving stuff. So there you go, castle short. We did highlight the castle short, and it just happened. So as you can see, Hitachi, many of the things we are suggesting with the yellow arrows, actually, they come to be in a very concrete way. So that's one type of exercise, Hitachi, that you should be taking advantage uh, when the uh, FIDE or other super strong tournaments happen and practice, keep practicing, keep practicing your um, calculation without engine, of course. Just keep it raw. As if it was yourself. There. Yes. I think you guys are doing... It's, it's, it's the best approach, Itachi. It's the best. Um, don't, don't, don't get attracted by the lazy... By, uh, by the laziness promoted by uh, the famous broadcasters with uh, putting the eval bar and the engine on. Don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't do that to yourselves. You're not, you're not going to improve nothing with the engine on and the Valbar on. No. Uh-uh. No. Try to play like them. Knight e3 makes a lot of sense. Makes a, after castles, knight e3, and you probably got it, guys. Knight e3 is because you will be stop. You already stop. You stop any bishop to d5. Absolutely guaranteed. Knight e3, no bishop d5. And it could be very well, not just you do not allow the bishop to play on d5, but also you are ready to take space from them, maybe. That might be coming with the caveat, Itachi. If you, if you commit to do this, which, don't get me wrong, I think it's, it's something good to this, and probably you should, and probably you should. Uh, I wonder, I just wonder, if you consider long term, we might have some issues on this one. On this diagonal. But probably, whatever happens, you always have this or this or something. It's Blackstone, by the way. I'm not sure, uh, David, about D5. I'm not sure just yet. What about this? What about c6? What about 
I think there's something with the C6 or C5. Not D5, not D5 right now. I'm not sure. No. Maybe this to prevent this very importantly. You don't want to block your guys. Mind you though, but Viking is still on the E file. Maybe this. Maybe this. Let's look at this in this fashion. Rook E, if there is something like this, you're always going to play C. Because that's where the white king is. Well, white can still play bishop E2, bishop D3, and then castle short. That is true. That is true. Maybe also, what about this? What about bishop G5? I want to take the knight. There you go. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. So... Itachi, the last two or three games, you have anticipated the moves of the Super GMs. So that's the, you know, the best type of exercise you could do to yourself, regardless of the threshold or regardless of the points or rating you might be having. I found this, I find this to be probably the most powerful type of exercise. Yeah. And serious, decent commitment, and I think you should be absolutely fine. What? H4? What's the point? Ah, okay. I, um, I think, you know, why, why don't you just get a piece out first? Just get a bishop out. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe, maybe this, this h4 h4 and then this or maybe they take and then you take and then they do this hmm complicated bishop e2 bishop takes takes bishop d5 and uh Can you give the g2 pawn? Especially after bishop takes c3, you take bishop h3 for bishop h6. Could you? Could you? Do a little bit of a poisonous pawn? So this, or, okay, let's say bishop d3, let's say. Bishop takes, bishop takes, bishop d5. King here, and they will not take your g2 pawn because of this. I think you can give up on the g2. Yeah, you could do h4, h5 at any time, I guess. Yeah, of course you can. I would like to... Nah. Do you know what I think? I think I want to get bishop to d3. I want to get bishop to d3. That's the plan. Bishop to d3. Bishop can take your knight any time. Bishop takes. Bishop takes. You don't have a problem. You don't have a problem with this guy here. So if you do bishop d3, bishop, bishop d3, bishop takes e3, bishop takes e3, bishop d5, king to say d2, and g2 cannot be taken. G2 can't be taken because of the immense power on the G file from the rook and pressure from the bishop. That's serious. So I think you should be developing bishop d3. Probably there are other things too. Certainly. I would say let's make G2 a poisonous pawn, Itachi. Let's make G2 a poison pawn. Let him take on G2. To my understanding, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Uh, but looks looks look looks attractive. I'm sure Vid is gonna consider all this stuff. Y yeah, you could do h4 as well. You could do h4. Bishop e3, bishop e3, bishop d5, f3. Maybe David's idea might be working as well. I'm not sure. H4, bishop takes, bishop takes, d5, f3. Mm, I don't know, David. Maybe, maybe, yeah, f3, then c4. I guess. 
I guess uh, there there are quite a few. I would give g2 to my opponent, get my king on d2. Uh, I would play bishop d3. I think it's incredibly important to get the bishop on d3 for multipurpose. You're hitting h7, and potentially, if they don't react with bishop d5, you might be able to play bishop e4 yourself. But that, might be, that might be a stuff with bishop e4. So why not playing bishop d3? You can't prevent black from taking on e3. So if they want to take, they're going to take it anyway. So why not just play bishop d3 now? Let them take on g2. I don't think they're going to touch it. I don't think they're going to take it. Fabi, Fabi, Gukesh. What is he cooking here? Hey, uh, I think I did say something about the A5. I did say something about the A5, but I wasn't very attractive and convinced about that move. But boy, he did take his time to commit to playing A5. Mm. Okay, I guess you could try this. I mean, you're going to take, you take like this. I think this guy, not, not very bad. Not very bad after all. Less than that. So I think the plan for Gukesh is, was, will be knight a4 for this. Yeah, of course you can play rook c8 anytime. You can play rook fc, you can play rook ac, you can play rook ab. Um, I'm not sure rook c8 because I'm going to do knight a4, knight c5. So what do you do on c8, on the c5 with the rook? Just asking. I don't say you're wrong. I just try to see the meaning behind rook c8. What, why would you play rook c8? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna push b5, Itachi, for you to open your rook, attacking my queen on c2. I'm not gonna push b5. I want to play. I want to play knight a4, knight c5. If you want to play b6, that's up to you. Um, maybe rook a b8, David? Keep the rook on f. You might be needing it on d or e, and maybe play rook a b? Maybe rook a b. Maybe rook a b and rook f c, and see which, which file might get open. Perhaps, 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 perhaps. Maybe rook a b in the first instance. Maybe rook a b. Rook a b. Yeah, rook a b. And why can play knight f3? Knight f3 to. Nah, just knight a4 and then knight c5. Let's take it step by step. Knight a4, knight c5. So that's the plan we may want to invest in. And let's see then. Yeah. Rook a b though, not rook f. Maybe rook f, as Itachi said. Uh, I'm not sure about b6. I'm really not sure about b6. You could. b6. They don't even have to take. They still play knight a4, David. You could do b b6, I guess. b6, knight a4. I'm still playing knight a4. I don't take. If you're hoping white to take, they won't take. So rook a b is very serious, and I think you should consider playing it. You probably shouldn't be moving the black pawns yet. Just get the rook on the b file. Yeah, you gotta get the rook on the b. Don't 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 move the black pawns yet. You gotta wait a bit. Yeah. Okay, Fabi, that was Ali Reza and the boss of here. Um, I wouldn't touch the b6 yet, David, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe not. Rook c1. Also moving away. Rook a c also moving away long term from this. How do you, how do you react to this?
e5, right? No? I don't know. Uh, that's... You have to sit down here. Queen A5. I think it's not bad, Queen A5, Itachi. I think Queen A5 is playable. Queen A5. Queen A5. You, you're going for the A to pawn. You're attacking this guy with the rook if bishop were to move, and then you go E5. That's cool. Hmm. Um, just do puzzles. I don't know what up, up, up. I can't think of a book for a player to cut to do uh, for player eighteen to go to hunt to two thousand. Why don't you go, John Nunn? John Nunn had something about the end game. Just go for studying the end game. Openings chessable is full of openings. Uh, courses. Try the sweet and short and see which one you're more attracted to be playing. Understanding the end game. I think John Nunn had something understanding the end game. So go in uh, simultaneously studying the ending and the openings. And do like tons of puzzles every day. Tons of puzzles, maybe 20, maybe 30, maybe 50. 50 puzzles a day. And analyze all of the games you play. Do only rapids. Do just rapids. 15 plus. And, analyze, and, and, and try to predict what Ali Reza plays next. And the rest of the guys. Try and see if you can play like Ali Reza and the boss of. Of course, no engine. Queen A5. So Queen A5 is a very good idea. Because Queen A5 will be followed by E5. And then I guess that's a challenge for White. Obviously, White's not going to wait for you to just play this. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thanks for stopping by anyway. So I guess after Queen A5, you got to move the Queen. The White Queen. I don't know. C2? And after this, you got to have to play Queen to B. I think that's the only way, really. So Queen A5, all in all, Itachi, yeah, I, I think Queen A5 is definitely a move. Definitely a move. A very serious move. Absolutely. I like Queen A5. There's nothing wrong with that one. It's quite incisive, quite a direct. It's a good move. It's a good move. Ooh, what are the games? Sorry. Let's go back to Hikaru. So, I did say either move the king or take the bishop. That's what I said. He moved the king. He moved the king. The king is in the center. Well, good news for black is that there is no queen. So now, a3 attacking the bishop. Bishop takes. Knight takes. And now Hikaru's turn. I guess you want to play this rook. Can you, can you send this knight? Can you kick this knight somehow? It's just annoying, this guy. How do you kick the knight away? How do you make this guy go away? Can you play this? This knight on b5 is really... Itachi, not 0-0, zero, zero because... Um, Surprisingly, you are about to be finishing the middle game as soon as you do a couple more trades. And you want your king, you want your king actively participating in the end game. So if you castle, your king is far away from the action. So that is why you don't castle. No, you don't castle. Even even better. And I think I've I've said that you either move the king or you take on D2, but I wasn't convinced castling or not. So it's even better, King, here. You're closer to action. Especially after the bishop had disappeared, you don't have any knight coming into d6. Very clever. It's a very, very clever idea. So a3, forced now. And knight takes. So notice, Itachi, how the knight on b5 
can't move on d6, just say. And I guess for Hikaru, the problem is if you could remove this guy somehow. Or just make them go away. Yeah, you can. Of course you can play rook d8. Of course you can. Still, the white knight has to disappear somehow. Yeah. No, that's fine. It could be. It could be this. I don't know. I don't like this white knight. Knight d four is my first candidate move. Rook d8 is always good. Yeah, I said knight d4 myself. Yeah, yeah. I said it, I said it. Absolutely. You want to have that white knight disappeared or something, traded or something. It kind of has to because uh, it's incredibly annoying. I don't know how you're feeling about that knight, uh, David, about the knight on b5, but you always have to worry about all sorts of forks and jumps and things. That knight... It does have to disappear, I guess. So knight d4 springs to mind. It's a multi-purpose intention. Knight d4 challenges the knight. That's for sure. It does challenge the knight. And it threatens a bit of a fork here, right? Well, after knight d4, if they do a4, I am going to take the white knight. Well, sorry, no. I'm going to play the fork. What do you mean? No, there, uh, there is no a4. He, sorry, you saw. You're talking about a4 to limit the white knight on d2, right? Okay, I thought you're talking about white to push a4 or something, which probably they could have. Ah, I know. A4 because this. Um, apart from knight b3, no, apart from knight b3. Preventing knight b3, and you will kick the knight away with rook a5. Yeah. Okay. I think now, I think now makes sense. Uh, just a bit more sense. So now you want to play rook a5 at some point when given a chance. Oh yeah, he does. He's going to bring both rooks. Let me tell you something. It could be that white's going to play castle long. It could. It could. Reason being, you're going to have a rook cutting through. And then you're going to be making further harassment, maybe, with the knight c7 or something. Uh, I'm not sure about b4. Why would you? If they take en passant, you take okay. Maybe. Uh, I would, I would, I would take a little bit of time here. I wouldn't commit too quickly. This is very committal B4 Itachi, I guess. It looks to me very committal. Uh, let's highlight the move. You can play it. It's not a blunder. I'm more inclined to say castle long. Yes, Simpson. Yes, exactly as you, as you typed in. Castle long, rather. A B4 is very committal. Really, really. If you do b4, this is something that's massive destiny frame here for the game. b4 is a massive commitment. Because of the en passant, and that opens up the a for the black rook, you have to be very certain of this. Uh, yeah. Um, if rook a5, knight c3, you're good, I guess. I don't know. Um, or maybe castle short just make castle short because if you do castle long Simpson if this happens you're going to play knight c3 then they're going to play knight d4 then you're going to be constantly under the threat of a knight b3 I don't know how when and uh, there's just it's just so much happening on the queen side uh, Simpson so maybe after all just castle short I'm sorry to being a disappointment. Maybe castle short. I mean, from the safe point of view. So, considering safety, king safety, maybe castle short is safer than castle long. It has some virtue, castle long. 
But you can maybe spare another tempo and get a rook on the D file afterwards. A rook on D and a rook on C. A rook A C1 and rook F D1. Yeah, you're going to be spending two tempi, but hey, you can't have them all. So let's, uh, let's judge king safety. So I think a castle short would be, would be quite cool. Yes, that's exactly how I envisaged the whole stuff here for Prague. Yes. Yes. Hitachi, it's exactly, exactly my thoughts. That is exactly my thinking. Yes. So king safety would require perhaps castle short. Then rook fd, rook ac, just play whatever, uh, not whatever. I mean, just continue playing normal chess. If rook a5, you're going to be dropping, obviously, rook c3. And I think you're doing good. I think it's good. Castle long would be exposing the white king unnecessarily. Unnecessarily. A bit too risky. I don't think you should be taking that risk. Now, we, may, you, we might see Prague playing something totally surprising. But no one wants to lose in chess. No one wants to lose. Specifically... These guys, they really want to win, so obviously. So probably he won't be taking this risk with Castle Long. So Castle Short, I think. Uh, play Knight C4 after Itachi. You could do Knight C4, don't get me wrong. I think it's, it's, it's nice. Knight C4 is very nice. But Knight C4, Itachi, could be maybe Bishop E6. And then you have to think, the heck am I doing with the Knight? And wh why would you do this to yourself? Uh, look, I think you have to... Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. Uh, let's castle short first. And we'll take it from there. I'm not I'm not uh, belittling your idea. I don't think... Uh, so I'm not diminishing. I don't think it's a bad one. Nice C4. It's just maybe, maybe slightly premature to launch yourself now with crazy middle game development. Let's just castle the king first. And then we'll take it from there. That's what I would uh, probably consider. Okay. Good, good, good. Let's see what vid. Hey, yeah, of course, vid it one hour. Yen, one hour 23. 20 minutes extra for this guy. It's very logical, Itachi. It's very logical, logical, safe. And uh, you got all game ahead of you. you. You could do all the good stuff afterwards. You, Yeah, you have to look for the king's safety. You can't ignore it. Hey, didn't I say at some point with this guy's rook? I think I said it a few times, rook e8, because you're aligning your rook with the king. Oh yeah, bishop d3, yeah, but that is with it to decide on this one. Yeah, of course, bishop d3. Of course, bishop d3. That was uh, one of my... Uh, very many, let me see, is there any other craziness I'm not seeing? No, bishop d3, and if it's getting too funny, you have to castle quickly. So bishop d3, you got to be careful because you have your king aligned with the black rook. So you can't mess about too long. Yes, we did say G2 is a poison pawn indeed, but he decided to play C4 for some reason, uh, Itachi. I w Look, here, I would have played Bishop D3. I, would have played B I, I, I wouldn't have played C4, but I'm not with it. I'm sure he saw a lot of things. He went C4, and I did say Rook F8. And now I don't know what you want to play. Yeah, yeah, but I would have given the G pawn, I guess. Anyway. Because I think it's a poisonous pawn. That's why I said I would have given it. I wouldn't have given it for just for the sake of losing stuff. It's because I think if black would have captured... Yeah, that's the, that's the sensible thing. Uh, Bishop d3 and short castling if black doesn't jump with something making it difficult for you so if you play bishop d3 the question was if black can do something to make a new delaying can they do no they can't so bishop d3 yeah bishop d3 bishop takes c3 bishop takes hmm, okay i think it works yeah you 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 you're relatively safe but no h4 had been played 
which is an aggressive move. He didn't move the bishop. Okay. He probably wants to make Yan deciding if they want to take or go H. I don't know. So that's a that's a question. Actually, when you play H4, you actually put a question. Yeah, I would have played Bishop D3 because I'm panicking and stuff. I don't think it's bad Bishop D3. Itachi, you don't need to think that Bishop D3 was a bad move. It's not I don't think it's a bad move at all. Not at all. That one is an attacking move, okay. And again, it kind of like asks Black, what do you want to do with that bishop? You go h6, do you want to take my guy? And I'm expanding on the king side as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let's see what Ian decides on this. Probably bishop d3. Yeah, bishop d3 for me because I'm panicking, of course. So I would have played this. Hmm. I guess bishop h6 now. If you are black here, why wouldn't you? Could be this. Good. But when this happens, then bishop takes. And then you take, and then they're going to grab your guy. True. True. But then you're going to play rook g1. Do you, do, you, do you think he actually considered this sequence? Do you think he actually considers bishop h6, g4, Bishop takes, bishop takes, and then bishop takes, rook g1. Do you think he actually thinks about this? I think he probably is. I think he probably is. Probably is. Yeah, I think it makes sense. I think it does make sense, and it's quite aggressive, quite attacking. H4, bishop h6, e, again, g, g pawn, g4, pushing it. Uh, you gotta go with it, but I guess you can, but if you want to open up the g file, I guess you need to push the g4. So, give that pawn as a great gift, give the pawn and... As a poisonous pawn, and then just get the claim the G file with the rook. If well, black supposedly takes on e3 after you play g4, right? So that maybe, maybe, maybe. Oops, maybe. We'll see. We'll see what's gonna happen here. Hey, uh, what is this? Uh, we've seen this, this, this. Uh, this guy's played a couple of moves here when we last visited. So we were here, guys. A6. He didn't push the B, he pushed the A. Knight A4, as, as, as I said, I said Knight A4. Rook D. Knight C5. I said Knight A4, C5 because the... So, so that was the plan. Knight has to capture, and you take with B. Obviously, uh, Rook puts a bit of pressure here. F5. Game played. And now you have to consider a couple. Yes, exactly, Itachi. Exactly the same plan. Yeah, he incorporated, and he went with this idea. Yep. And now we have to figure out something. What is going on? Can we bring a second attacker? On this guy and probably then rook b8 and uh, what else do you play this ah okay there is another stuff here one no that doesn't work no 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 so you you could do b3 or b2 to attack twice but then rook b8 then can you play b6 Mm, I don't know. I really don't know. This one goes here. No, that doesn't work because this. Yes. So, I don't think white should be worried too much, guys, about g4. I don't think white should be worried about this. Because if they were to do this, I think black's going to suffer. 
after knight h4. So I'm not sure you really want to go with g4. What I think black wants to do is actually f4. Because f4 undermines the d4, opens up the f for the rook. And this guy is super happy after f4. So guys, um, Fabi wants to play f4, not g4. Fabi want to do f. You look at the pieces activity, Itachi. So let's uh, play a little game now. Let's, uh, let's uh, throw some personal assessment of the position. Let's count the material. So 4, 3, 7, 7 black pawns. 3, 4, 7. Okay, double pawns on the G. Um, B7 is a liability, but probably defendable with this. So not that much. But anyway, the rook had be, has to be moved on the B. Um, given the fact that black wants to play F4, which is seriously aggressive very aggressive this one um a little bit of a minus because of the f4 so let's just play this game i would say a little bit of a minus but not too much not too much probably equalish so i'm gonna try and do something like this minus minus 10 Minus 0 0.10. Minus 0 0.10. Yeah, very negligible. Hello, Nancy. I'm okay. I'm doing chess. If you want to do chess, you're welcome. If anything else, nope. No frames. I'm not buying anything. Thank you. So, minus 0 0.10. Uh, Itachi, what do you think? What's the, what's the eval bar here? Uh, can you assess it yourself? And then we could check with the Almighty. Um, so I'm inclined to give it a little bit of um, positional, strategical, maybe. And there is also the bishop pair. And after f4, this guy's become a little bit weakened. It's far from over. Far from over. There are all sorts of complications coming up but i would give a little bit just a bit of an edge for black so you okay let's uh let's try so we were uh, the engine says white's better probably because there is a move that actually sort out the problem with f4 and we didn't find it yet okay plus 0 0.60 okay so probably there is a move for white There is a move for white, and we didn't find it yet. Is it uh, 92? Is it... Uh, what's the move? Or maybe the engine considers there is a attack first on the B? Mm, then 92. So pieces activity matter. F4 seems incredibly promising for black. It's actually a bit scary, I gotta tell you, from a psychological human point of view. Um, guys, at the human level, this kind of things bear incredible impact on the players. You're not a machine, so humans are not machines. They have emotions, which sometimes they drag you down. They cloud the clarity of your judgment. So because we are humans, we are very much prone to cave in and to just do bad choices because we're getting panicked. F4 is a very psychological stuff, and that's something. I don't know how to prevent that yet. I'm not sure how am I supposed to be playing. Um, I'm, I don't know how I'm supposed to stop in F4 or how to... I can't stop it. Maybe there is some rearrangement here. We're not seeing it yet. Maybe there is queen b3, rook b8. Ugh. Maybe there is rook b4. So there is... <coughs> no, Nancy.
So rook b4, you, do you need to double on b5? <coughs> do you need to double? <clears throat> do you have time to do this? I don't know. Um, okay. If f4, you take maybe rook fe. Maybe rook fe. No, Nancy, I'm only doing chess. And I'm, I'm not buying any frame. Thank you. No, no, no stuff. No, nothing. Thank you. So rook fe. And if, uh, so again, Itachi, guys, I think the answer is rook fe. I think that's, that's the antidote for f4, right? Rook fe stopping f4. Am I correct, Itachi, guys, uh, Simpson? Do you think that might be the thing? Is rook fe the, the reaction, the proper response? Rook fe. That makes sense. Probably. Okay, let's move to another game, and then we're going to be coming back. So, Itachi, yeah, as you could probably imagine yourself, you look at the pieces activity. That gives you the evaluation in every single game. Pieces activity. That's what matters absolutely. It doesn't matter what you're having on the board. It, it, it matters if they actually actively participate. This guy is a little pinned. Why to play? <coughs> you could do many things here. I'm I'm attracted by rook DC. I want to run away from this. I just so much don't like it. Okay, at the first glance, I'm probably going to do queen C1. I mean, what am I doing here? Of course, you could do this. Heck, you could do... A few things, but I think queen c1, right? You move the queen away, you move the queen away, and then you're going to take it from there. Nice c4. Uh, just, I feel a little bit weird with nice c4. I feel a bit weird because my queen is on the same thing with this guy. It's on the same file with the black rook. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I think queen c1 still. I feel a bit weird having the queen on the file with the black rook. It's just too many things on the too many things on the d file. Too many events on the d file. I uh, probably I would move the queen to c and take it from there. Queen c and then I'm going to attack the black queen. So I'm going to move my queen on the c having a battery and and then I'm going to focus on attacking the black queen. The pawn is still pinned by the rook. It could be b6, though. Nice c4. Okay. Yeah, so you went with the move that Alireza itself went. So, yeah. Okay. So, after all, you shouldn't be that stuck at your rating, right? You're getting those moves. That's fabulous. Knight c4. Why would you play knight c4? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. And if b6, you're probably going to get the rook. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. b6, you want to take the rook, they're going to take yours. What about b6? Are you happy with b6? Take the rook, right? Okay, so that's done then. Knight c4. f6 played in almost instantaneously by a bass of now. I think Alireza are going to pull a victory here, by the looks of it. Now I think you got to move the queen, right? Now you have to move the queen. Queen, 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 d to c. You got to move that queen away. Queen, d to c. I mean, yeah, I'm just, I'm just a human after all. Queen, d, c. Uh, but maybe there's something stronger. Maybe there's something stronger, but I'm not sure what is it. Mm, yeah, bishop d5, bishop d5, check. That's check. That's the mother of all checks. Bishop d5, check. You know more in... Uh, well, okay, yeah, sure, bishop d5. Bishop d5, bishop d6, bishop takes, queen takes. Sure. 
You're going to drop the bishop? So bishop d5, right? Okay, bishop d6, what do you play? You touch. Bishop d5, bishop e6. What do you play? Have you had a longer plan for this? I guess we can play e4 and crazy stuff. Yeah, bishop d4, bishop b6, e4. e4, 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 e4. e4. <sighs> Queen h5. Queen takes, g takes. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. I guess it works in this fashion. Bishop d5. Bishop d5, bishop e6, e4. I guess black is losing then. Bishop d5, bishop e6, e4, and black is dead. Black is dead. Bishop d5, king goes in a corner. You still have to move the queen, I suppose. Right? So bishop d5, king goes in a corner. What's your move here? e4. Again e4. Again e4. Uh, complicated little tactics here. So yeah, you got to sit down and take the tactics now. So bishop d5, king h, e4, queen goes, I don't know where. I don't know where the queen goes. Uh, could be here. Then you might be having bishop e3. Nah, they do things slightly differently. Rook d5. Mm -hmm. Rook d5. Rook d5. Rook takes. Bishop takes. I think good for white. I'm not sure black's going to do this though. The rook's being challenged now. After all, maybe rook takes. Rook takes. Bishop takes. Looks like Alireza is definitely having initiative here. He didn't even bother moving the bishop. Or, well, he couldn't have moved the bishop because he was pinned by the rook, right? So bishop d5 to sort out the thing. And then moving the bishop, whatever they want to move it. So rook takes, bishop takes with tempo check. So whatever black plays, then you can move the bishop to safety. Whatever safety means. If rook takes, bishop takes check, king moves or blocks or whatever. And then you move the bishop. And okay, you save everything. Yeah, that seems to be indeed the way to do it. Nice one by Ali Reza. Very nice. Probably he's going to be winning. It feels like he's... It's not finished, though. It's just not finished. It is not finished here. So, castle kingside, rook d8 here. Rook h to d8. Rook h to d8. Hmm. You could play rook fd, I guess. No, you can't play rook fd. That's a blunder. Rook takes, rook takes, and you're going to be dropping the knight. So you can't do this. You can't play rook fd. Uh, do you have to move the knight? Not necessarily, not just now. Maybe you could find something else. Maybe you could find something else. I feel I would love to move this guy. Oops, no, 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 no. Wait a minute, that was a mouse slip. That was a mouse slip. Yeah, you could go for that one. I see seven hitting the rook, hitting the bishop. Knight c seven. Then rook has got to move, right? Rook has got to move, and then you're gonna remove the bishop, and then you have to not worry about the knight on c four anymore. Yeah, that makes sense. So knight c seven. Rook probably rook is going to move somewhere nice e7 rook i don't know where rook a7 or something and then you're gonna take the bishop on e6 and i think it's good good i think then you might be exploring removal of the knight on c6 or maybe you can grab some pawn here after all so what i see is like nice e7 rook's gonna go say just a7 just Imagine they're going to move there, right? Although it might be... No, okay, it has to be that one, probably. 
Oh, yeah, no, that one, I think. Knight takes. Forcing move. You attack the black rook. So king or pawn takes. I don't know which one takes. Probably king. Probably king takes. Probably king takes. So you can't say you're going to take on c6, they take, and you grab the pawn because there is a king defending the e5 pawn. Mm hmm. Uh, knight c7. Bishop takes. Yeah, that could be very well. That could be very well. Knight c7. Bishop takes c4. If knight takes a6, they're going to take with the bishop. Two knights for a rook. Disaster for white. I don't think, I don't feel, I don't think you should be trading two white knights for a idle black rook. So that's not going to work. Um... Itachi, what's your username on chess.com? What's what what what's your username on chess.com? <coughs> Just if we are to sending some invitation for the club or something. Do you have a username account, uh, uh, a chess.com uh, account, right? You said you uh, you have an online account, right? All right, let me just try to write this down. Something. It's a paper. Captain. Cap Captain. N, double N, double O. Okay, I'm going to be sending some club requests and things. Okay, cool stuff. Yeah, you're going to be find me, or you're going to you're going to find me with the same username on both leechess and chess.com, so we can uh, we can get in touch uh, via that platform as well. So, ninety three by Prague. Nice e seven was actually quite nice, but then again, it's bishop takes c four, which is serious. So he had to move the knight away from the problem. So, okay, he wants to do nice e seven now. He wants to do nice e seven now. Prague, but the question is if Hikaru is going to stop this from happening. Is he going to do 98? I don't know. It's a bit painful to play back rank now with the knight, but how do you stop knight c7? Knight c7 is something annoying for Hikaru and good for Prague because you either remove the rook or you, or you remove the bishop. So I think this is definitely something to knight c7. So how do you stop knight c7, guys? How are you going to stop this one? Rook a5. Rook a5, it was some years ago. Yes, yes, some ages ago it was indeed. Rook, I guess you can look at this rook a, rook b. Yeah, you can tackle this with either rook b or rook a. Rook b has some virtue because it hits the b2 as well. And defends with bonus the b7. So yeah, there is virtue to rook b. Rook b is quite cool. Rook a is cool-ish. But maybe the coolest is rook b. 98 feels very, very not appealing. I mean, so not appealing. You kind of can, but it's a massive pain. You don't want to withdraw your pieces. So, <clears throat> after all, rook b6, there is no dark square bishop. <coughs> and they can't play knight here. They can't play. This guy is hanging, actually. Rook b6 is a move with multi-purpose facets. And actually, rook b6 attacks and defends. And attacks and attacks. Rook b6 attacks the knight, attacks b2. And it's a ticket to freedom, and the rook becomes incredibly active, indeed. 
So I think rook b6 is really good stuff to consider for Hikaru. He's going to find it probably. One hour, 16 minutes. Absolutely. He got like half an hour extra. So he is going to find it. Or maybe something even better than rook b6. Who knows? He is the super grandmaster. He's going to find it. He is going to find very good stuff to play. Vidit and Ian here. What does the guys do? H4. And believe it or not, he didn't do bishop h6. He did bishop to f6, obviously targeting d4. He changed all of a sudden. He didn't go for that crazy stuff with the probably bishop, uh, sorry, with the bishop h6 and maybe, maybe some crazy g4 and things. He didn't do that. So c3, kind of forced, kind of forced. C5, you want to dismantle these guys. And bishop d3. Finally, like after a few years, you go bishop d3. Finally, finally, finally. And maybe this and maybe that or some, something like this. So bishop d3, we did speculate. We did speculate bishop d3. Yes, Simpson, with it, time. With it, time is always a thing. Invariably, this 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 lad always goes low on time. That's what he does. But luckily for him, on many occasions he actually does find incredibly good moves. So bishop d3, we did say bishop d3, because you're developing, you're eyeing this guy, and perhaps you're gonna be able to push. But there is another thing. It's cd. So I suspect before he played bishop d3, Vidit actually thought about this. So what's the catch here? What's the catch? Bishop d3, cd. Knight's being hit. What are you playing? cd. Mm, okay, bishop d. Bishop d, king, king d, and bishop d, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Takes, takes, takes. Maybe Bishop B2. Uh, there's a few questions here. <laughs> no, you don't castle, I guess. You're not going to castle after H4. After G4 specifically, I don't think you're going to be castling. I don't think you castle. Doesn't feel like you castle. I think you're going to have to move the king on D. I think. But I'm not sure what's going on on the D one there. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm not sure what's the thing. Bang, boom, bang, and bang, and bishop. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, C D, C D, bishop D, and bishop E. Whoop. Now that's something. I'm not. Sh I. I don't know. But this looks. Very tactical and very, 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 very difficult. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> can you do that? I guess you sort of can. There's something. I'm not sure if that's the solution for this conundrum here. So C, D, C, D, Bishop, D. And I'm waiting, guys, for you to making any suggestions for white. Survival white's options there. I don't know. Just yet, I mean, bishop e4 springs to mind, but maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so guys, I'll be returning in a minute now. Just have a look here and just type in what do you think it should happen after c d c d bishop d. Is it bishop e4? How do you get out of this mess with white? That is, if c d, you're gonna you you're gonna take back, right? C d c d bishop d, and what bishop e4? Think about this one, guys. I'll be returning in a sec. Okay.
Perfect. You guys probably found a solution for that little puzzle. So, what messages have you guys written? D5. Sorry, who's, uh, what? D5. You mean, uh, you don't take on D4? Sorry, you don't take CD. What's wrong with CD? After CD, CD, Bishop D. CD, CD, Bishop D. You mean ID5? No, you can't. You can't do ID5. You're going to get in trouble because Rook is aligned with your king. What? CD, CD, Bishop D, what? What D5? What D5, guys? Itachi, what D5, mate? D5, what? Hmm. I think that's the problem here. C, D, C, D, Bishop, D. What exactly are you supposed to do? You can't play this because it's checked. They take your guy and you're being checked by the rook, right? You know what's frightening? I guess Vidit actually thought about this. Now we just try to figure out what exactly he thought about. But also Ian takes his time. I thought it's... Yeah, I found it. What? C, D, C, D, Bishop, D, C, 5. C, 5? Why? Because Bishop's going to take? You... Why would you give another pawn? That's just not clear. C, D, C, D, Bishop, D, Black, D, 5. No, I don't know what you're saying. So you don't play bishop d4, you're playing what? Uh, I don't know. It's just so not clear. This is actually a problem with it. C, D, C, D, Bishop, D. Yeah, okay, now I understand what you're saying. I mean, I, I said Bishop, E4 and E4, and then you're going to drop Bishop, F3. Okay. C, D, C, D, Bishop, D, uh, Bishop, E4, D5. Okay, I understand. I think we can take, take, but then Bishop takes and you're kind of dead. So bishop e4 has to be discarded straight away. It doesn't work. It's a disaster. It's not bishop e4. I don't know what it is. C d c d bishop d. No, you have to castle then. Uh, I think you have to castle. I've reconsidered everything. It's too dangerous. C d c d bishop d and castle asap. That's it. I uh, made up my mind. C d c d bishop d castle short. You are in big, 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 big trouble if you don't move that king away. Either castle or king d2, something like that. You're going to be in very deep trouble. Yeah, one of these two. King d1. Uh, you, you have to move the king. Just to make it, you know, uh, more general. The, the, the idea is that king has to move away from the e-file ASAP. You have to move the king away. Yeah, if you got a chance, if you got a chance, go for g4, totally. But my feeling is uh, Nepo is going to take your knight before you're doing g4. Maybe after you play g4, he's going to take your knight. So, all in all, king must move from the e-file. I don't know if the answer is castles or king to d1 so that you do not block your bishop. 
So I'm not sure, but the king must go away from the E file. And now we're going to go to another game, guys, because this one is uh, really time consuming. Uh, no, you don't play bishop E4 anymore. No, or oh, I don't think you play bishop E4 anymore. You have to move the king away. Itachi. You're not going to play bishop E4. It looks horrible after D5. It looks really horrible. They play E4. I'm not sure if bishop F3 works. He might work. It's just getting really serious. Do you know what's the problem here? The white king shouldn't be there. So all white's problems, all Vidit's issues, stem from the fact that the white king is on E file still. And I'm not sure how much can you just push your luck with this incredibly king's bad positioning. So you can't just force it like this. I mean, this just feels incredibly fishy, very risky. You can't keep your king there. I mean, for how long can you keep the key on the E file? It's not going to work forever. So C D C D Bishop D move that king on D one and uh, or maybe castle shorts. We can debate at that moment. So Ian also didn't act on this. So let's go and see some other guys doing this stuff. What was it? Uh, hey, uh, don't tell me. Is the, is the board again stuck, glitchy or something? Because 20 minutes ago, guys, they still had F5. No, 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 no. This is another funky thing. No, it's the same issue with the Fide servers or something. I can't believe that Gukesh in 20 minutes or, I don't know, last time when I was visiting their, their game, they were right here. And I said Rook Fe1, my two cents for the current position. I've said Rook Fe1. I know F4 is going to happen. And I said maybe Rook Fe. You know, if this guy goes here, yeah, I could take with this guy and maybe I'm exerting a little bit of pressure. So rook f e1, f4, and then I'm going to take. If f4. So that's the antidote for stopping f4. So, yeah, so that might be an, an, op an, an option, definitely. Rook f e. And then you're going to think if you want to do king b or king b3. Although king b2 feels weird because that's where the bishop is. So maybe rook f e to stop f4 and then maybe king b3. You know, rook b8, queen b6. Play like this, I don't know. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, but yeah, rook f e1. Again, I think the reason they don't show us is because they got the same issue like half an hour ago. They got a problem with the servers. They don't update the moves. And you think Gukesh is thinking for half an hour or one hour or something. They didn't move nothing, man. Very glitchy indeed. So, <sighs> Rook D, Rook D, Bishop D check, King moves, Bishop C5 moving away from the pawn's attack. Um, You could do E4. Oh, he played Bishop F3. Okay, and now uh, Abasov to move. Uh, I prefer white here. I think we got a plus 0, 080. Plus 0, 080. Let's see. Oh, even more. He's being, he's being demolished. Poor Abasov. Poor Abasov. My God. What a strong bishop. Another strong bishop. If queen takes, rook takes straight away, and there is a problem with rook on d8, and I don't know how you're solving it. The bishop can't move. There is constant pressure on the b file. Uh, very difficult. Very, 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 very difficult. I don't know how black's going to survive this. Sorry, what? Uh... Okay, so yeah, yeah, looks like pieces, uh, white pieces are incredibly active, They're very active, and and it's very difficult for black. 
Poor Abasov, he's really in for incredibly bad time, this tournament. It's very strong. The tournament is super strong. Super strong tournament. I mean, look in what company he plays, you know. It's the best people on the planet. The best, the best chess players on the planet. So, yeah, quite strong. Amongst the best chess players. I mean, Magnus doesn't play, so what can we do? Okay. Oh, Bishop F3. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of Tsukswang. I don't even know where do you go, what for aiming to do what. Um, you don't have options. So whatever you play is just bad or not good enough. Whatever you play, it's not good enough. The d8 is a problem after queen trades and rook takes. I don't know how you're sorting the d. I don't know how you're going to move the bishop because uh, the b7 is hanging and everything is so bad for Abbasov here. Everything is so bad. So bad. Let's go for this. Uh... Oh, he didn't move nothing. Or maybe the glitch or something. I do not know. So, knight e3 being played by Prague. And I guess he wants to do knight c7. But now, why did fa uh, why did Hikaru didn't do rook b6 or rook a5? I don't know. I hope it's not a glitch or something. It could be. It could be. Maybe they didn't update it, the move or something. Uh, yeah, hard to believe. What, 15, 20 minutes ago, we were looking at this game and Hikaru didn't move. So maybe it's again that, that terrible glitch that we had it at the beginning of the stream when nothing was moving for 20 minutes. It could be the glitch again, guys. I'm telling you, it could be the glitch again. He played queen c3. He didn't do rook fe. So is this a, a way to be replying against f4 or preventing f4? Uh, how does that stop f4? What does that do? What does that do? It does something, but does that stop F4? It doesn't. I think you could go. You should. Takes. And maybe you take. F4. Do you have to take, though? If F4, do you have to take, or do you play Rook FE? Yeah, but then they take here. So that doesn't look good. So if F4, you actually have to take with E pawn. When they take back, you then play rook fe. Okay, he doubles up here. Also defending here. If there is any queen or something. Oops, if there is any queen. Uh, there is a double protection here. And maybe rook, rook d to f8. Because f4 is going to happen. f4 is going to happen, guys. And he's actually preparing a rook battery on the f file. And then he's going to push f5 to f4. Because he... He definitely want to do this. He will do this. He will do this. Rook d8, rook f8. And f4 is going to happen. That's definitely the plan. Black's plan. Fabi. That's what Fabi want to do. He want to do f4. How do you play this? Uh, I'm not sure. Do you have time for rook b6, rook fb? To just I'm not sure if you have time. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe, but maybe it's too slow. Uh, difficult. Oh, wait a minute. Does he want to do 90, uh, 95? Oh boy, and Gukesh is like 25 minutes now. I'm not sure. 95. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Uh, it's a bit weird, but... I'm not sure that's the key. How do you prevent f4? How do you defend against? How do you defend against f4? That's the question. Uh, quite a task here. Quite a task, and he really goes long time. 
This is quite a task. What? Dude, I have no idea I had that number of subscribers. I don't know. And I'm not following that thing. I don't know how you come up with those numbers, really. <laughs> yeah, Gukesh is low on time on that one. And surprisingly, guys, Hikaru didn't move. Hikaru didn't move the rooks. He didn't play the rook. He didn't move nothing, actually. So. Oh, dude, look, I'm not buying anything, whatever you try to sell, all right? So if you came for chess, you're welcome. If you came to selling me whatever you want to, I'm not interested, man. SEO and stuff like this, and uh, I'm so not interested. Thank for your time, man. Okay. B6. He didn't move nothing. So I think these are the best moves for black to consider. Rook B6, Rook A5. Rook A5 is so-and-so, but Rook B6 is the real deal. He didn't commit. He didn't play. Maybe it's a glitch or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Ian, hey, what's this fork here? Okay. Let's do chess, Hui Ming, if that's your real name, yeah? Let's do chess. If you want to do anything else than chess, again, not interested. So don't, don't, don't keep trolling, please, because I have to take you out then. So, nice E6. Uh, oh, but that C3 is hanging. With check. He didn't play nothing. D5. D5 attacking. Forking. Bishop C3 check. Now that's an exciting game. Bishop C3 check. You probably do Bishop D2. They take. You take. Uh, There's something to this. Is there any other tempo move crazy stuff? It is. Bishop C3. Bishop D2. Bishop takes. King takes. Okay, this one is, that's the tempo thingy. This is the tempo thingy. So if you take here, knight's going to take on d3 and king has to play. Or you move the bishop, and if you play bishop e2, black has the time to play bishop d7 or something of sorts. No, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, yes. Bishop e2, bishop d7. Oop, pressure on a4, like this. So bishop e2, bishop d7, something like this. And c3 is seriously also. Uh, but whether you play the black knight. Oh, that's us, guys. Right. So bishop h7. Because you're going to take the bishop first. Check. You are in check. They have to take. And if you go for this, they're going to be moving, still pressurizing your knight. Or maybe you're going to play f. And this guy's still hanging. And took it instantaneously. Instantaneously on e6 taken. Now you're going to take with the rook, right? To preserve, to keep your rook on the e file. I guess. What do you take with a pawn? Well, that's a 20 minutes question. <laughs> right? But Ian. Maybe he's going to solve it in just two, three minutes. Maybe he's going to solve it in two, three minutes here. So, rook takes, keeping rook on the e file, or f takes. Having a nice pawn island, maybe you're going to take advantage of the a f, of the f file. Uh, so many ideas. It could be very well. Rook sounds very good to me. Sounds true. Rook takes because that's where the king is. But I might be wrong. I think they're both applicable. You could take either with the rook or with the pawn. There you go. Look at the pawn. Rook is going to come here, right? It could be. This guy c3 is also a weakness. I think black's doing a bit better here. Now you could play king, I guess. King it so, right? You defending d3 against the knight. But that feels very insufficient. What are you supposed to do? Can you do this and that? 
No, you can't because you give away on the... So maybe King E2 first and then G4. There's so many questions. Every single of these four magnificent games, it's like a full lecture here. Uh, you could think about this a lot. So King E2... So before you push G4, touch. I think you got to do King E2 first and then. Right? Because if you push G4 now... I suspect there could be some complications, like uh, knight checking you, bishop suddenly attacking. There's so many things here. So maybe king e2 first, and then you push g4. Yeah, maybe. It could be, perhaps. Um, yes. Um, I'm not sure what to say. So king e2, then g4. All righty. All righty. So yeah, just to make sure there is no f3 for the black knight to exploit. That's why you're going to do king e2 first. So, and then you push g4. That makes sense. That's, that's going to be an arduous, strenuous middle game towards ending. This is so far from over. Very exciting. But very tough. I guess a5 is going to happen at some point. But that doesn't mean black's going to take, of course. They're not going to take. But it's going to be a constant pressure. King e2, if you got a chance, bishop d2 for white, defending c3 against the bishop takes. Play the king e2, g4, see if something can happen with the g and h pawn moving down the board, that is. Maybe you could do something. Maybe you could do something with this, guys. Okie dokie. Right a. Okay, let's move towards another one briefly now. So Ali Reza, obviously Ali Reza won that game. We kind of knew. Rook B4. What was the thing here? Rook B4. Okay. Uh, ah! Do you remember, guys, I told you if there is enough time for White to play doubling of the rooks to aiming B7? That's exactly what it is. So not rook b6, he played rook b4 to keep an eye on this pawn extra, and he's he intends to play, I think Gukesh wants to play rook f to rook b1 to attack this guy here. That's what it is. That's exactly what it is. So I was kind of correct, I was half true when I said that actually Gukesh might intend to play double rook on the b file. Yes, that's that's one way. Absolutely. Is he going to push F? And maybe he wants to keep the rook to play this or that? No, uh, you can't play this. Because bishop takes. And the rook is hanging. So probably rook d7. Yeah, we did say about rook e1, but now the question is if you couldn't just play rook b. And that would take away the second rook from doubling on f8. It's a very big subtlety here. If you play rook f to b1, you're forcing black to defend by playing rook d7, that is, I suspect. So if rook plays on d7, they can no longer play rook f8 to increase the power behind f4 pawn's advancement. So, when you play rook fb1, you're forcing black to take away a rook from the f-file to go over to d to defend here, right? That is, I mean, I think white would be giving two rooks for queen and a pawn. It's complicated. It's so complicated. But I guess it might be an idea. Sorry, uh, it might be an idea. Maybe you want to give two white rooks for a queen and a pawn. And then a6 is going to hang in. Uh, to double up Pitachi. He wants to double up the rooks, man. And he doesn't want to go rook b6. He wants to go on b4, having extra supervision for d4. And now that he 
he knows it's three times defending, but he just want to double the rooks. Because you want to be closer to defending d4. That's why, I guess. Why not defending if you can? You never know what's... Uh, this is so tactically difficult to assess in all of its consequences. Why not just making sure you got some extra eyes on d4? You're going to double anyway. Keep the rook a bit more active. I think the white rook is happier, more active on the fourth rank than on the sixth rank. So... White Rook is happier here, doing more stuff than on b6. And if the intention is to take on b7, why not keeping the Rook on the 4th? Get the other Rook on the 1st and, you know, do what you want to do. I suspect. A very difficult ending. That one is very tough. Hey, Rook a5 after like a billion years. My god. Rook a5. And he stayed so long for this. We did say rook a5, rook b6. The tendency for us was to consider rook b6 more, more beneficial for black. But rook a5, okay, okay. It does attack the knight. But rook b6 would have been cooler, I guess. Attacking, attacking, defending. Difficult. Uh, yeah, knight e 7 is the move that you, we always want to play it, of course. Of course, knight c7. If not, I, see, I don't see it, nothing better than knight c7. There is nothing better than knight c7. Absolutely. Totally not knight c7, knight c7. But he took the knight with a beautiful active bishop. Oh, Christ. Okay. I guess he grabs a pawn. This guy takes knight c7. You don't grab nothing. Uh um complicated okay what do you play now bc6 you play knight c7 as it no maybe you would have trapped your knight but maybe because the bishop could have played d7 that and you can't retreat your knight anywhere mind you mind you itachi if 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 you would have played this they might have reacted with bishop d7 maybe your knight is trapped have you if you consider that carefully, you you get your knight trap. Maybe you lose a piece, and that's the end of it. So knight c3 because you get your 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 knight gone dead exactly. Your knight is trapped if you had played knight c7 because bishop d7 and you got nowhere to go to after rook attacks your knight again. So knight c3. Okay. And now... And now... So many things that might happen. Because it's 50 minutes for Hikaru. So knight is safe. Knight is safe for now. You still want to get your guys in action, right? Look at this. You're not going to be moving that bishop, right? So, okay. So guys, I got to wrap it up now because there's some other things I need to attend to, unfortunately, or fortunately. So, thank you very much, guys, for being with my uh, stream this evening. Uh, we're going to be watching it for the remainder. I think I'm going to use my mobile and stuff. I got to do some stuff. And uh, I reckon tomorrow, guys, uh, I'll be seeing you again for some time. And uh, again, thank you to my new uh, uh, friends on YouTube, on uh, kick.com, on Twitch. And uh, thank you, Simpson. Thank you, Itachi, and the other guys, uh, Margie. And I'll see you guys tomorrow evening. Enjoy the, uh, the games. See you guys. Thank you.